For more than 24 hours, cautionary procedures have been put in place that's affected the small town of Fanningbostel, many married quartering estates and a large part of this military station. A police escort through the empty streets of St Barbara's barracks. Fanningbostel town is in a state of shutdown. Emergency services have set up a crisis centre just 500 metres from the craft factory. More than 700 volunteer and specialist fire personnel from as far as Hamburg and Hanover are on standby should the hazardous materials become unstable. We have a chemical accident in the factory here in, um, in Fallingbostel, in Bad Fallingbostel. There's a big tank um, and they took uh, two chemicals um, together and that's not the best idea. Uh, the dangerous was uh, the reaction from these uh, chemicals. And did it give a gas or is it yes. fire or is it... Um, it, uh, it becomes a gas and go out of uh, the tank. The situation has been critical for more than 24 hours now, but when first informed, Fanny Vossel Station's housing and welfare teams immediately put their major incident plan into place to evacuate identified homes and cordon off parts of camp. We got called about 3.30 this afternoon and uh, to go and have a meeting at Craft and then we found out all about the incident then. So really what we did, we got the garrison um, disaster plan um, set up and, um, and reacted to, to that straight away, which, which in general has worked very well. Because the exclusion zone infected three of our housing estates, roughly about 370 personnel were evacuated um, from about 6 o'clock yesterday afternoon through to about 2 o'clock this morning in two separate incidents. So how difficult was it to actually rehome them and put them somewhere overnight? Uh, initially it was not easy because half the camp had to be shut down because the, the bottom half of the camp uh, and the north side was actually in the exclusion zone. So we were limited to what you, we could use. Uh, so we used uh, two cookhouses, uh, gymnasiums and the church. And, uh, but mainly it was families themselves who reacted through the uni welfare officers who got everything together and did a bit of um, uh, community support and everybody, everybody fitted in and helped in and uh, took families away to their own houses which were outside the exclusion zone, which was, was marvellous. Some families did end up on camp beds, in welfare centres, in gymnasiums or single accommodation blocks. We just got told to evacuate the um, flat and so obviously we left just with what we had, which was like nothing, just the kids and we just walked out. Uh, so we've got no clean clothes, no wash kit and then we didn't expect it to last this long. We just thought, you know, give it a couple of hours and then we'd be able to go back, but that's not the case. <laughs> There was a chaos of where we were going to sleep, have I got enough nappies, have I got anything and um, I had to bring my dogs up with me because there was no way I was leaving them there. Um, so they managed to sleep in the block with me but um, it was just chaos, horrible, no clothes, no shower, no nothing. But camping out for another night is no longer a concern for the families of Fallingbostel. The situation at the craft factory is now under control and the emergency services have given us the all clear just a matter of hours ago. Annie Hairsign, Forces News.